Welcome to another Space Station 13 tutorial, pardon my nose. I have a little cold. In this video, we're going to discuss how to make tritium. It is the next stage of your learning in toxins. Tritium is a radioactive gas that you could use to make more advanced bombs. I would consider tier two bombs to be tritium bombs which require super cold tritium and oxygen combined with superheated plasma. Or you could use this tritium to make tier 3 anti-knob bombs, which are absolutely incredible. That's for a future video. In this video, I'm going to go over the tutorial for tritium. Tritium is made when you burn plasma in a high oxygen environment at a slow rate. And that's the most simplified version of it. The first thing you want to do is find the firefighter outfit. Look for a firefighter locker. Put on the hard hat, put on the gas mask, and put on the jacket. This will do two things. It's going to protect you from temperatures if you go into the burn chamber to modify it. And it's also going to defend you against fire if you do light on fire, which is a very high chance you will. Might as well wear it. You're going to start by opening up the interior chamber of the burn chamber. You're going to go inside and you're going to turn on this extraction pump that pulls out the gas from the chamber. You're also going to set the intake pump to max and both of these to max. And then you're ready to go on to the next step. As of right now, just turn the freezer on. Put it on the lowest setting it has for tier 1 parts, which is 73. And then also wrench this empty yellow canister to the connector right here. The next thing you're going to do is go over to the air scrubber and learn how to filter with the scrubber. This device connects to the scrubber unit in the burn chamber. And if you add more scrubbers, which I'll show you at the end of this video in the more advanced part of the video, they will automatically be on this air scrubber device. You are going to go to scrubber controls. You're going to expand the range from normal range to expanded. And then you're going to filter out tritium only. And that's it. Now, the way I do this is different than others and comment down below how you make tritium. But I fill the chamber with oxygen first. So I open up the valve here on the right. It turns the little red light to green, showing that it's open. And then I turn on both of the Omni gas mixers to max and then main node 100%. This is opening up the oxygen full power to flow into the chamber. Now everything is open except one thing. Go to the ordnance chamber control and turn on input injector to max. Now you're going to see on the readout that oxygen is filling the room. I put about 2,000 moles of oxygen in the room. I would not recommend going above 3,000 because you don't want to waste your precious oxygen. But 2,000 seems to be sufficient for this amount of tritium. When it gets to about 2,000, you're going to cut off the main node, put that on 0%. And for extra safety precautions, I turn off the back mixer. And now you're going to wrench in plasma to the current mixer that's still on. But before that, you're going to lower the input rate on the ordnance chamber controller down to about three to five liters per second. The lower, the better. You can go too low and you definitely can go too high. Three to five is the sweet spot I find. But play around with it. Maybe lower is better. Now we're going to wrench in the plasma and then we're going to monitor everything on the, com the computer. We see that plasma is filling up. Now we go over and hit the ignition. The room's going to ignite. And if you did everything correctly, we are going to start accumulating tritium in this empty canister. You can test it with your analyzer. And you can see we already have 30 moles of tritium. And at this rate, you have successfully made tritium. You would keep pumping plasma into this room and keep cooking it off. When the tank empties, swap it out, and you only need about 100 tritium to play with. If you're making anti-knob super max max cap bombs, you just need a little bit of tritium. 100 tritium moles is enough to make five max cap bombs, basically. 
but that's for a future video. Now that's just the basic tritium production. You can get more advanced by adding more scrubbers into the burn chamber using layer adapters and different pipe layers. And the more advanced you get at this, the more scrubbers you can add. And then you pipe this into a filter that filters off the tritium. And then the rest of the stuff goes into the atmospherics red waistline. This took me 20 extra minutes. And in all honesty, this particular setup did not earn me more tritium. It actually earned me less. So I'm still trying to figure it out. But the person that taught me how to build this, his name is Johann Faust. Thank you again for teaching me the knowledge. He had a much cleaner system that equaled more tritium. And I don't think I had it quite down pat, but the whole idea is to experiment every single time you're in here, learn more, try new things. But it was fun to build the pipes and we still made the bombs, so it was fun. Let me know in the comments below if this was easy, if you made your first batch of tritium. What are you gonna do with it? Are you gonna just unleash the tritium and it spray radioactive gas all over the clown, mutating him into a spider? Are you gonna build radioactive bombs with it? To be honest, the anti-knob max caps are way easier than the tritium bombs, the hydrogen bombs, but the tritium and hydrogen bombs are interestingly fun to make because they are difficult. Plus a tritium bomb is a radioactive bomb and that's also more of a headache for the people cleaning it up. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more Space Station 13 content and guides and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more awesome content. I will see you on the next one. What? What 45?